So guys, so I know there's a lot of Viper guides out there on YouTube right now, but I just decided with the new Viper buff, there's gonna, there's gonna be a lot of new people playing Viper. So I just decided that I would make a tutorial kind of explaining how I play Viper and how I use these lineups that I show to my advantage. There's a lot of different play styles that you can do with Viper. I'm just kind of explaining how I play around my utility and how I use these different lineups in one ways and all that um, to my advantage. So if you want to learn how I play and uh, learn some new Viper tricks, you know, enjoy the video. All right, so starting off on B here, I usually throw a one way on here like this. And it might take you a bit of time to get it. But when you do, you can kind of play around a lot of different angles. You can play from market here. You can play from the stairs. You can play from all the way back here. You know, there's there's a lot of different angles that you can play with this one way, but I usually like to play around it here just so you can usually, you know, go back and cover and, you know, play a little bit more back and like a bit more passive. And then I usually use my wall for retake on A. And there's a few different walls you can do for retake. One of them that I like to do is on on top of the double box here. And that gets enough height where you can kind of just, you know, sneak on site and isolate your angles. You know, you can drop. You don't have to worry about that part of site. Take the hell fight. That one's really good for retake. Or if you are in the position to be in mid, you can also wall off main like this. And this one would be really good now with the new Viper updates. Because if they swing through this wall, they're going to be pretty low. Now on A, I usually don't even play main usually. I usually um play on tree here. There's one way you can do here. If you look in the middle of this and look at the bottom of that, jumping right click. And this is pretty good one way for um, tree here. I usually like to play around here, but you can get in a little bit more close if you want. They really can't see anything from all the way back here. This one's really good at stopping the pushes. And now with the with the buff, you know, if you have to give it up, if there's a lot of people rushing, they're going to get pretty low and you can drop a molly and that's going to do a lot of damage to slow them down. And if my teammates are struggling in A main, I usually drop a wall here just to help them out. But I don't use that, use that at the start of the round. I usually use it on retake on B. And on retake on B, I would say the best wall is probably right here. You can add that height to it and you can kind of creep up wherever you want and you or you can just stay back here You can creep back all the way over here. This one's really good for retake Also, if you want now with the new viper buff, this is gonna be a pretty good um Wall to do or if you want a wall like that early so you can get both But I just prefer to do the one way here um, But you could do something like that if you want but I just prefer to do the the cat one way and play off that and if i have my ult and i want to use it on defense at a certain spot i'm usually going to use it on a just because there's a lot of more space to work around so as you can see my um, defense is pretty basic on this map there's not really much insane stuff i do for defense but i don't know if i said this but i usually play b unless we have a killjoy on there and i usually play a but i i can kind of play wherever i want and like wherever we're struggling with a lot, I can usually just play that. But B is probably my preferred place. So on attack, if we have another smoker that can smoke the sights for us, I usually use my wall mid every round. And if you stand in this corner and you kind of aim just around like head height, um, then you can do a wall that goes from Here. mid bottom Here. all the way to tree. And now this wall, if you do it too high, it will actually go over these arches here and not even cover this bottom part of mid and if you do it too low then it's not going to go all the way over here to tree but this is a really good wall to give you a decent amount of mid control and i usually don't um just wall whatever site we're going to which a lot of new vipers do because it does give away the location if you're doing it every round if you're going to the site you're putting the wall at then um it kind of gives away your location but if i'm the only smoker on the team then i usually do end up having to smoke the site that we're going to uh, and on A, if I was going to do that, I would usually do a wall like here for A main. I mean, for uh, a tree in heaven. It doesn't really do that much to heaven. So if you want, you can smoke heaven. And, um, you know, all these lineups that you want to learn, you know, you can look up other YouTube videos and stuff like that. But this, this video is, again, just to show what I, how, how I play Viper and how I use 
the lineups, you know, to, to my advantage. And I usually don't even smoke heaven. Um, and I usually molly it if there's, you know, people coming through heaven, I just might drop a molly. But what I usually do for the smoke orb is if you sit in this corner and you aim the tip of your smoke orb on this corner, so the top left of the square. So you aim it like that. It's actually a one way for Jen. So anyone playing here on Jen, you know, they're not going to be able to see you. Whatever side they come from. But you can see them. So this is a really good one to stop people from Jen, which is like a really hard corner to fight. And then if they're hiding in the back and you know they're hiding in the back, you can actually molly them. Force them in the one way if you want. If you don't want, you can just take the fight. They're going to be vulnerable. Because also for post plant, not only is it a one way for people fusing, see, you can see their feet and they can't see anything. But also you can use it with the lineups that I'm about to show you. And it adds decay to them. So you stand in the same corner. There's a decent a bit of white paint here. You want to aim at this kind of line one. It's the only one that has a line. And then the curved part of your left HUD, you put it right there like that. And that'll be a good lineup. And if you add it with a decay, it'll do a lot of damage now. That'll just stop them from being able to fuse the bomb. So if you don't plant Jen and if you actually plant double box, you can actually go to the bottom of this right here at the bottom. There's a small circle dot here. It's very small. It's a circle dot. You aim it right on the dot. And this should land right here on double box. And then for the um, double box plant, pretty sure you have to have your graphics on high for this. But um, if you don't have your graphics, you can probably just replicate the exact spot. It's not very specific. It, it bounces off a wall. It, it, it's kind of, you know, it's not that hard to get. So you aim right in the middle of the rock in the building. I'll just bounce it right off the wall here and just land on double box. And if you're the only smoker and you have to smoke a B, I usually go right next to here. And depending on if they have a killjoy or not, I'll explain why I do this. But if they have a killjoy, which most people do on this map, I'm going to actually do it so it ends right here in this corner. Doesn't have to be too too specific. But that way it'll end right here on CT. And this is the, the enemy's view. So it actually blocks off from market. And it goes all the way over to CT. And the reason why I do this is so you can go in, you can, you know, close the door. You can have a bit of room to work with if they have a killjoy. Because if they have a killjoy, they usually put the, the mollies here. Um, so I like to kind of sneak around this side and, you know, come, come at both sides from the from the stairs and speedway. If they don't have a killjoy and you don't have to worry about anything on the speedway that's slowing you down, then I usually just wall like that. It blocks off stairs also, so you don't have to worry about that angle. So there's actually a lot of one ways that you can do post plant on B and I really love these because it makes retake just impossible for the enemy team. So if you're staying a bit slower, I mean, so if you're staying a bit farther back, you know, you, you did your wall in mid, your team's already on almost on site. So you're a bit farther back. You can actually do a one way right here. All this stuff above the tree here. You just go to the far left one, the far left zone. Um, so basically just aim at that part of it. And it'll just have a one way here and you can play back here and be main if you want you know you can play here so another one way that's pretty much in the same spot for ct is you stand in front of this boxes and this is if you can get on site you know and you're not sitting back and be main you're actually on site so you go up in front of these boxes and then this kind of little window part you put it in the bottom left this will just bounce off and create a one way for here that makes it so you can hold CT with a one way. And this is their view of it. They can't see anything until they're all the way out here. So the second step here. So it goes light and then dark. So you put it right on where it crosses from light to dark. Put the um, right HUD, like the tip of the right HUD. And it'll just bounce off right here. This creates a one way a, a bit closer up. Because if people are coming from market... The CT one way isn't gonna be as effective, but I like this one more because um, it actually is a one way for people coming from market, you know, B main, anything trying to enter site versus only people coming from TTs. And it makes it really hard from the retake site. And then usually when I, when you do this one way, people are gonna start funneling, funneling in from the right side. 
but then you just molly the right side so you can make it really hard for them to retake by this side being mollied constantly and this side having a one way but if you're actually on site and you want to have a good ult you know like if you planted gen i would recommend doing this ult where you ult right in between these two little wires right behind gen you can go all the way around hide in this corner and then just hold like this there's so many different places you can hide in this old that they're, they're not going to be able to expect you and you know pre-fire you that like, there's just so many different angles another go good old if you do have heaven control and i would only do this if you planted a dice or um double box not gen like if you plant gen don't do this old because it's like it doesn't cover the bomb but it's hard to, to play around it but if you go up here you can actually ult like pretty much anywhere in this general heaven area and it actually creates a one way so people that are gonna walk through they're not gonna be able to see anything until they get all the way over here right you're gonna be able to see their feet all the way until you know right around here so it, it's basically a, a one way old for anyone coming through heaven and if they actually decide to drop down you can really you know see them from from here and you can see them drop and get an advantage like that also a lot of people probably know of the killjoy molly thing where you put it I, i'm pretty sure it's in the same box here but with a viper um you can actually put it in these boxes and it'll work the same as a killjoy molly and it'll slow them down from heaven you know make them vulnerable this corner and you jumping right click but this is only if you actually get tree control and i only really do it if we get to um like mid control i mean do like a cat to a push but you know if you do have control of this area which is very hard to get but if you do this is an insanely good one way or just making it impossible for them to retake because they're gonna have to swing all the way out here just to be able to see anything so you're already gonna have them you know killed by the time they swing all the way there but if you don't i mean but if you aren't able to get control of um that part of tree and you do want to have a one way on it you don't decide to go for lineups or anything um you can actually stand on this part of the stone like the first part and aim at this little corner of the of the um door and just do a simple left click and this will be not the best one way but it works you know like it's better than just normally smoking it so you know you can kind of get an angle like this and it's kind of a one way but it's just not the best one you know like it's easier for them to play around but this this will do its job if you aren't able to get you know this side of the of the tree control all right so after editing the video i actually realized that i forgot to show my molly lineups on b so i'll show a few of them this one i use if i'm kind of up close to b and they're actually planning you kind of go like right in this corner and then there should be this little type fan thing you just aim to the left of it lands on default and also it's very situational if we're actually going to use this post plant but you know there have been times that it's come in handy and there's a lot of over here that i haven't been made so this one you go in this corner and you just aim right above this tree it'll just bounce off like that and this one in this corner you just go on the third line of the window and go aim in the middle. It'll bounce off like that. There's one more over here. I think you have to have your graphics up high for this one, but you just aim right above this corner. And it'll bounce off like that. And my favorite one is right over here. And for the smoke orb, you kind of stand on top of the boxes of fish and then there's two lines that are sticking out and you just go to the right of the top one and this will land on default so you can use that if you want to lurk over at a and you want to help out with your lineups and for the molly you aim the cursor of your molly on the window just like that and those are my lineups for b